Welcome to the event and wedding shows product reviews. Today we're looking at monitor and tripod mounts for the DJI Smart Controller. The mounts are made by Thor's Drone World, a link is included in the description below. Let's begin. Hello and welcome to the Event and Wedding Show TV's YouTube channel. Today we're looking at some unique products for DJI Smart Controller, the Enterprise Edition. While the DJI Enterprise Controller is a lovely controller, it can be rather heavy to hold after a long day of shooting, particularly if you're out doing some mapping missions. So we're going to look at some options um, over the next couple of videos on how to make your life easier when using this. Also, we're going to look at a solution to mount an external ultra bright monitor, because if you've ever worked with the smart controllers out on a bright sunny day, it's very hard to see what you're doing when the sun is over your shoulder. Today we're looking at um, a solution from a company called Thor's Drone World. Um, we're looking at their enterprise tripod connector and their utility mount for external monitors. We ordered both of them with the quick release modules and yes we ordered them we don't get anything for free so this is our money that we're testing with and we're happy to share the results with you. So first of all you'll notice um, actually before I get to that I have to commend Thor's Drone World on the incredibly fast shipping speed. Um, they are located overseas and I had ordered it on a Friday and it was in my hands Tuesday morning. Um, very impressive for the amount of distance that they had to go considering we're living in a world uh, where everybody's ordering online and shipping delays are a common thing. First thing you'll notice when you open up the packaging is that they actually take care. Everything's wrapped very nicely um, with stickers. It's a nice little touch. Instructions to read manuals, but we don't do that. When you open it up, I'm not sure why you would need a manual for a lovely piece of metal. Now, this metal is very well machined. It looks like it's anodized aluminum and uh, it mounts to the stainless steel handrails or foot rails of the smart controller. We'll attach that shortly and show you how that looks. It also comes complete with a wrench, so all the tools you need to make it happen and a QR code in case you're confused and don't know what to do. The only thing that it didn't isn't immediately obvious is how to attach the quick release. So we will do that and I'll show you what it looks like put together. Okay, so we've put it together and this is what it looks like. So basically the uh, arm connects to the stainless steel foot of the controller and then the quick release mounts to that the other half of the quick release goes onto your tripod. Um, we use Arca Swiss in our environment, so I mounted it to one of my quick release plates and I mounted it in such a way that when you're sliding the controller on, it's locking down. That way, if you accidentally push the button, the release button, your controller is not going to fall and hit the ground. The issue that I found with setting it up that way is that the plate doesn't sit um, quite as nice as it did when it was inverted the other way. Uh, so we're going to get an extra long quarter 20 screw and go right through the quarter 20 hole into the quarter 20 uh, lock nut that's part of the bracket. And that should alleviate that and make it look cleaner and more secure. So overall, locks on nice and tight. You can then control find controls with your tripod depending on what your tripod head will give you flexibility. Also you can direct mount it straight to a uh, the quick release to a monopod if you don't want to necessarily be holding it uh, but still have a support to take the weight off of your arms. Now we'll go and we'll attach the external monitor connector. Be right back. All right, well, welcome back. So we've mounted the um, monitor holder to the controller. Um, it's a nice fit. I did uh, play around with the tensioner a little bit, as you'll see why in a moment. I'm still keeping the quick release on here, although I did swap out the one on the tripod base. Uh, after we had it sitting on there, uh, doing some preliminary testing, we found that it really wasn't uh, stable enough for my liking. And when you've got $2,000 of hardware 
dangling uh, precariously off of a small quick release. Um, I just didn't feel safe with it, so I'm not going to use it on this component, but this part looks pretty good. So it's mounted to the monitor, as you can see, and again, it just locks into place quite nicely. It's a nice fit, it's solid. You'll notice we have two extreme heavy duty batteries mounted to the monitor. This should give the monitor all day uh, capabilities. Each one of these batteries um, are on Amazon and they are 7,800 milliamp hour, uh, which will power this monitor at full brightness for more than eight hours, uh, which will give you more than enough flight time or video recording time or whatever you're using the monitor for. Once it's mounted, it's simply a matter of angling it to the angle of view that is comfortable for you. If it's sitting on the tripod in, a, in this position, you'll have a nice view of what you're looking at, plus you'll still be able to control it comfortably. The whole device now sits on the tripod. We'll lock it into place. It is extremely secure and it's not going anywhere. The two batteries adds a tremendous amount of weight, so you will need to tighten the nut a little bit um, more so than what it comes fac from the factory to give it that extra support to stop it from slowly working its way and falling over. How bright is it? Let's go outside and find out. Okay, so welcome back. So we're now outside. It's a bright sunny day, almost noon. Um, our copter's ready to go. Our screens are lit up. Come have a look. You're able to see exactly what you're recording. In high noon sunlight. Yes, you can still see it on the controller, but if we angle the controller down a little bit, it will become harder and harder to see. The glare is pretty nasty. We simply just adjust our upper screen and the difference is staggering, as I'm sure you can tell in the video. All right, well, we're back inside. After playing outside for a little bit, we did some uh, building photography for our, our roof to see if it needs to be replaced or not and um, basically looking for any excuse to play. So the long and the short of it is, this stuff is great. Are there some issues? Yes, a few. Enough that you wouldn't want to use it? Not at all. Um, my biggest disappointment was the quick release, uh, the fact that in order for it to lock from top down, it would have to be off the bracket, um, which I think is just uh, problematic if you accidentally push the little button. There is no locking mechanism to lock out that button. But that certainly doesn't render the, uh, the tripod bracket useless. You just mount it like we did to a Arca Swiss bracket um, that you're accustomed to using in your, with your photography gear. And it's as, uh, it's as sturdy as sturdy can be. Um, we're gonna replace the quick release on the monitor to Arca Swiss as well so that we have a, a common um, platform across all of our devices. And then we can also use this monitor for video editing work uh, when we're shooting video outside that's not hooked onto a drone. Um, it is incredibly bright, the monitor. The housing that keeps it all together is, is, is very, very nice. Um, the batteries last an incredibly long amount of time. Ultimately, you won't be disappointed. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. We've got a new video coming real soon. Thank you for watching, and we hope you found the information presented informative and enlightening. You can purchase the featured products by clicking on the links found in the description below. Please consider subscribing to our channel to ensure you're notified as soon as the next episode is available. Take care and be safe. We look forward to seeing you at our next episode.